Hello, Royalty. Good morning, and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. What to do to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns rest and how to respond to Him accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have defied answers have been tackled. I have no doubt the Lord has taken care of your own questions in this ministry. Join us on our social media handles and watch the videos uploaded, over 500 of them. Before you finish, then you must have discovered how much the Lord has dealt with your concerns. Alright, we urge you to use the comment sessions with your testimonies as the Lord is blessing you and help us to share this message. Let it go viral. God bless you as you do so. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness of our lives. Lord, for the years and for the time you have been with us and blessing us, changing our lives, Lord, we ask that your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. This morning we have come to hear from you again. Show us the truth that set men free and let our lives be imparted by your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, we are talking about anxiety. This morning we are asking on a question, what are some causes of uh, anxiety? Praise God. What are some causes of anxiety? And we are going to look at, um, I take our first um, Genesis chapter 44, verse 18. Then Judah stepped forward and said, Please, my Lord, let your servant say just one word to you. Please do not be angry with me, even though you are as powerful as Pharaoh himself. In 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 4, we also see uh, uh, chapter 12, verse 3 to uh, 13 to 14. Then David sent messengers to get her, and when she came to the Palace, he slept with her. Nathan replied, The Lord has forgiven you, and you won't die for this sin. Nevertheless, your child will die. Praise God. Your child will die. Now, you see Luke chapter 22, verse 56 to 62. Finally, she said, This man was one of Jesus' followers, but Peter denied it. Woman, he said, I don't even know him. At that moment, the Lord turned and looked at Peter, and Peter left the courtyard, weeping bitterly. So, anxiety can have root in things we have done in the past. You know, when we sin, we can bring anxiety along with sin's painful consequences into our lives. Praise God. So, we we'll look at that. We also see Exodus 16, verse 2 to 3. The whole community of Israel complained about Moses and Aaron. If only the Lord had killed us back in Egypt, they mourn. So, anxiety can also build when we fail to trust God for help. I want us to take a pause here. Now, you are not born again. Can you quickly pray with me and say, Lord Jesus, please save my soul as I Surrender myself to you this morning. Wash me by your blood. Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Uh, Satan, withdraw your feet hands from my life. You did not make me, neither can you keep me. My life belongs to Jesus, and to him I have returned. Thank you for saving my soul. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer this morning, congratulations. I encourage you to keep fellowshipping with us in this ministry. You can never get it wrong being the right thing with us here. The Lord has prepared all these messages to equip you, and I know you will never miss your track. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a fruitful week ahead of you. God bless you.